here are the materials that you will require for making the fire alarm a 9 volt battery connector breadboard connectors a 1k variable resistor a bc547 transistor uh, a diode I am using a 4148 1 and 4148 diode. It works best. An LED, longer part, positive terminal, shorter part, negative terminal. Two fixed resistors. One of the value of 150 ohms to 470 ohms and the other of 1k ohm. And a 9 volt battery and of course a breadboard. Let's get started making the project. Let's get started making it. Okay, so let me bring the breadboard. And now, the first step will be the inserting the most main component that is the trip, uh, sorry, transistor, inserting it into the breadboard. It's here. We just insert it on the breadboard like this okay now we have to connect now we have to take our LED connect its negative terminal to the collector of the transistor collector is the left pin base is the second middle pin and the emitter is the right pin negative terminal to the collector and positive to any other rail like this now take your two um, 150 ohms resistor or 470 like that and connect its one terminal to the positive terminal of the LED and the other to any other hole on the breadboard <coughs> or no sorry or the second terminal to the positive to the positive rail so here's the LED I will give you the clear picture of the breadboard in the end of the video. One pin here and the other here. Okay, so like this. Positive terminal to the positive rail. We are using the resistor. Now, take your diode and connect its positive terminal. That is not the black one. Black one is the negative terminal and the non black one is the positive connect its negative terminal that's the black part to the emitter of the transistor and the positive to any other hole on the breadboard like this emitter After doing this, take your fixed 1K resistor, connect its one terminal to the positive rail and the other terminal to the uh, one ter to the positive terminal of the diode like this. Now take your variable resistor connect its one pin to the positive terminal of the diode sorry I have just removed the diode let me insert it one terminal to its positive of diode here and by the way, you can use any 1K variable resistor like this. When you have connected this, take the other terminal of the 1K resistor. Variable resistor should be connected to the negative terminal of the diode. And I will do this using a breadboard connector. Can you see this? Which hole is that? 
this hole okay and now connect the remaining pin of the resistor to the base of the transistor now it's pretty ready after doing all the connections it should look like this your breadboard now let's give it the power supply red wire is the positive terminal and the black is the negative terminal let me give it the power supply oh i forgot to tell that you have to give the negative power supply to the emitter of the transistor that is the right pin so let me give it the power supply now after giving the power supply you, the led might turn on or just turn off it might turn on without fire so what i do just set the variable resistor at the point where it just glows yeah this point it's just glowing here now we'll take a matchstick and light and we will raise it over the transistor and let's see what happens okay so now i take my led oh sorry matchstick and light it up no if i bring it here as the temperature will increase the led will turn on as you can see and as the temperature will drop the led will still slowly turn on you can also attach a buzzer in place of the led it is it works on basically when you make that like this match stick over the transistor the conductivity and the heat increases at the same time and the led glows